Hi there, welcome to City Skylines for Beginners tutorial number 20. We're now heavy into creating our city and we've already run into some problems. We've got a little fire going on over here because we have no fire department and we have a, a big crime problem here and a small crime problem over here. See this little guy? Um, all because we don't have a police department so before we even take this off of uh, pause, which I put it on just at the end of our last tutorial. We're going to go over here to where we're going to put in our police department and we're going to slap one in. Now normally our police department would be this small one. If we we're in hard mode this is what we'd use because it's cheaper but we don't care what we spend. We're in easy mode so we're going to take the big one and slap that baby down there where they can come out and immediately head for problems okay and you see everybody gets the little happy face um, that's great for the police department now we have to go to the fire department again down at our icon where we were doing our zoning before and our electric and our water we're going to go over to the fire department and again in hard mode we'd go ahead and use the small fire department cheaper easier to fund but we don't care what we spend so we're going to do the big fire department and we're going to slap that one right next to the police department. Again, everybody's happy. And again, I got my fingers on the wrong to tools here. Now, if we go in here, well, let's get us out of the fire department first. Uh, if we get in here and watch, we'll see the fire department coming in and taking care of this problem. And we'll see the fire department the police department coming in and taking care of these two so we're going to put it back on paw on play and give the fire department and the police department time to get across there it'll take them a minute or two but they'll show up here come the police you can see them right up here coming around and they're going to come over here and take care of the, this problem Okay, well, the fire department didn't get to these guys soon enough, but the police department did get to these two. Okay, we have a fire department now, so we don't have to worry about this happening again. If you see this little icon, it's because something burnt all the way to the ground and you have to get rid of it, or the houses next to it might start having problems. People might abandon them. So you just go down to your bulldozer down in the bottom right corner, You'll get this little uh, striped orange and black thing that tells you that you have the bulldozer. And you take it and put it over so you have blue over the top of the place that burnt down. Left click, gets rid of it, new house gets built. Um, always go back to your bulldozer and click it to turn off that bar. Otherwise, you are likely to accidentally click on something else and create another problem. We should not have... Oh, we might. this is why we had a problem. Uh, there's no water going in here. Remember I put that, that piece in last, that road piece in last, and I forgot to put water in. So that's why the fire department didn't come to help. So we're going to click on the water and run the, electric, run the water down here. Now the water's gone and our fire department should be working much better than it was before. Um, you can see all of these little, little um, icons that are showing that the police department hasn't gotten to these houses yet, but it will. Here come the police. There they come. They're going to take care of all these problems, and you'll see these little uh, badges disappearing because they've, they've caught their... So you'll see this one disappear here in a second when the police department goes by it. A bunch of police cars coming in. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a whole bunch right here. I'm wondering why this... Oh, that's not... Oh, you know what that is? That's a garbage icon. We haven't done our garbage yet. So let's go do our garbage. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold while I get my day shift back. Because I really do need day shift to do this. Okay. See, all of our, all of our houses are getting garbage. So um, I'm going to put you on hold. And then I'm going to... Um, Wait for daytime, and then we'll put in a garbage dump. Okay, uh, we're back. We have garbage to worry about. We also have 
dead bodies to worry about. If you click on this, you'll see that we have a dead person is waiting for transport. you got to take them somewhere. And so that has to be done too. And we'll take care of both of them. We'll start with the garbage problem. Now we're going to have to run electricity out to where we're going to put the garbage. And we're going to put the garbage treatment plant way out here in the industrial area, right at the corner. The reason we're going to do that is it's going to, uh, uh, the garbage treatment plant causes pollution just like industrial waste from industrial plants does. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a road for that to be on. And these roads have to be larger so that uh, things can get back and forth on them. The big, big trucks can get back and forth on them. So we're going to run it off right here. Just going to put a short one for now. Um, and it's coming off the freeway, okay, down here by where the railroads are. And we're going to go down and we're going to grab the garbage icon. And then we could put in, uh, if we were in hard mode, a landfill site, cheaper. But we can do an incinerator plant immediately because we don't care what it costs. And we'll put in two because, again, we don't care what it costs, and that way we're sure to be covered for a while. Uh, but they need water and they need electricity. So now we need to go back to the electricity icon. See how it's, it's there? but it can't be used yet. So we're going to run electricity lines from here all the way down here. And from there. We, see, we already have electricity down here to our, remember, <coughs> sorry, our septic lines, remember? Well, we're going to run electricity over from them. Uh, and I think we can do it from here and across. I'd like to, yeah, there we go. I like to run it down when I can, when there's enough room, in the middle of the um, freeway. Can't always do that, but I try to do it as much as I can. Now, because this is, um, the inside uh, of our, we can't run out into this area because it says out of city limits. We have to be on this side of the freeway when we get over here. So we might as well take it over there now. We'll go across here and then go over this way. If I can get it to go across. Oh, I see it. You have to get past where the bridge comes before you can cut over. Okay. And now we're just going to go up and around each of these pieces and over. You're going to be stubborn for it with me here, huh? Okay, and then over. I'm trying to stay um, as close to the freeway as possible since the freeway is already uh, you know, not necessarily a pretty sight. Um, you don't, there's no reason to uh, have something else that's not pretty. See, we're running along this piece right here, just in case you didn't see that. We're running along all of this from this septic uh, sewer thing that we had started, okay? And going all the way up here, coming into the industrial, running along the back of the industrial and then up to this little section here and then as you get closer you can see that we're going to put it inside that purple area now it has electricity okay if we turn this on and let it play all of a sudden it has electricity but it is asking for water you see that wants water see the water drops so put it back on pause, and now we're going to go get water for this. <clears throat> we can basically use the same route that we used before. Um, we have to go to where we were getting the water, which is down here. Remember, next to the first, the upper uh, 
area here, we were we had the, our water piping. So we go to water, and and now it switches over and it shows us where our water piping is already. We've brought it down already from there. I think we took it down to the sewage. Yeah, we did. We took it down to the sewage outlet. And now we can take it from the sewage outlet along the same route that we did before. We'll just click into that. And unlike... Um, we can just run this anywhere because it's underground, so we don't see it anyway. Uh, in the city itself once we get it going so we can just run it underground all the way out here and then run it up the road so it covers them and we're done so now when we turn that on our uh, garbage at least is being handled you can see the the trucks coming out of there and headed into town if you put it on garbage they're purple Actually, um, so you can see all those trucks, but if you go up here and click this icon and click the garbage icon on this, it, it, uh, you can still move your mouse around. And it's, it shows you where they're going. Here go the trucks. And they're headed into town. They're headed down to where people are, are needing them. They should, there they go. See these little purple guys? You can just barely see them. They're just uh, headed to town. I can't keep up with them. <laughs> and there they go. Up onto the plateau. Into town. And here we are, taking care of all of the garbage. And no longer a garbage problem. No more garbages. People have, um, when you see, when you see, <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to see this or not. Now, we are seeing a lot of dead people. Okay, we haven't taken care of that yet. The garbage cans, garbage trucks are coming through, and that's fine. But we still have lots of dead people. Not a problem. We'll go over here by where the... Um, <clears throat> we'll put it on pause first. We'll go over here where we have our police department and our fire department. And we'll put in first a large hospital, because we can. And then over here, we'll put in... Right along here, this is a crematorium. Hard mode, we'd have to go for a cemetery out by the garbage dumps, um, but since we have lots of money and we can spend it any way we want, we can use crematoriums. And we're going to pop probably probably four of them would work for now. Two, three, four. And we'll check and see that they've got water and electric. There's electric. There's water. They're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> so as soon as we put the take the paws off, um, we'll they'll, they'll run out and they'll start taking care of the dead bodies. This one I'll bet you is because of dead bodies. If we click on this little little, if you see a little black house icon, and you click on it, it'll tell you why. It'll say it's abandoned. And if you go over to the left of this window along that red bar and click on that little black house that's there, it'll say building is abandoned because and this one is because no one collected dead people. Sometimes it'll say for other reasons. So now, because we have the crematoriums in and the hospital, um, we can take the paws off and there go the there go the the crematorium trucks, zillions of them, and they're going to pick up, looks like they went out the wrong way, they're going to have to, they're going to have to go all the way down here to turn around and come back, I think, probably, but eventually they'll come in here and they'll be picking all these guys up, okay, if we go up here and we hit uh, medical and then go to death care. See, there they are. The purple ones are whatever we've designated. 
and we've got purple ones coming in here and they're taking care of all of the dead bodies which is what we wanted and then they'll all run back there they go going back to the crematoriums hey, there goes another one they're coming in and go to the crematoriums and if you click on a crematorium you can see that there are two of seven hearses in use and deceased stored uh, was two, now it's one, but they can take up to 105, now it's three, just on this one. You can see what's going on in them, which is really neat. Okay, we're up to 15 minutes on this one. We've had a lot of fun with it. And now we are going to end this tutorial and um, close this out. Okay, and we're in nighttime again. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to end this tutorial now, and I will see you in tutorial 21 when we will be putting in some of the other things that we need. Okay, see you in, in tutorial 21. Bye.